Hi everyone, it's Mikhail Alexinko, Grandmaster, PhD, FIDE trainer from Ukraine. Here's another position that I found very interesting and entertaining, although at first glance it might seem like a position from endgame manual where many chess players know how to win this one. I don't remember how exactly I stumbled upon the, maybe it was analysis or maybe I do not remember exactly, but I remember my fascination with the discovery of the best move in this position for white. So, um, if you have a good background and game knowledge, uh, you would know that this position is winning. The king is cut off exactly far enough for white to win, for white to play h7, to play h7, and then the rook would go to g8, this way or that way, and the king would escape the corner, and white would win. It is true, technically. So the line that most of you, or hopefully some of you know, is h7, so black is waiting, and now the rook is going to g8. Yeah. And now you can actually learn how to defend this position better. And you should go to e6. You'll see in a second why. So the king is still approaching, but from e6. Rook g8. You put the rook behind the pawn, or uh, this doesn't really matter. So now king escapes. You give the king a check. And the difference is, if the king, black's king, went to e7, Rook g8, rook h3, king goes, check, king goes, this is a threat, check, king goes, check. The king can precisely escape from the corner and white is winning. So, well, white is winning anyway, but white is, this is a moment to resign from black. However, if black goes king e6 in the same line, the king cannot escape. King goes to h6, it's check, the pawn needs to be protected, it's here check cannot go here if king goes here check again pawn is hanging back to square one so but king goes to f8 right and it seems time to resign not so fast rook f3 king e8 rook a3 so this is the best defense for black and now rook a8 is a checkmate threat but white has a rook g6 check now you counterattack the rook the queen still cannot be promoted right and what is very critical, the, the best move and the winning move is rook f6, intermediate check. And uh, black actually has to take now. And the difference is, if black doesn't take, it's going to be rook f8. The pawn is coming. If it's check, king goes here. If it's check, king goes here. The pawn will promote, right? And uh, if on sorry, rook f6, king goes to e5. If king goes to <coughs> then rook goes to h6, and this is winning. So the pawn will promote uh, rook f6, king f6, h8, queen, and surprisingly black is not losing that rook even though they are so far away from each other but the the, the rook cannot be trapped so the best the king e6 on the move after queen g8 king e5 is the only move uh, everywhere else the the queen will go to f8 and eat the rook so king e5 queen g7 another only move king d5 queen b7 king c4 again only move king approaching the rook and there are still yet many moves to play if some of you consider this position to be easily winning, I would just refer you to play uh, on ICC, chessclub.com. Uh, there's a bot which plays with the rook. It gives you a queen and he plays it plays with the rook. You have 20 minutes on your clock. You can easily find that bot in the seek game um, part of Blitz in or whatever engine, uh, whatever uh, environment you're going to be using. I failed many times to beat him. With the correct defense, this is a very hard position to convert into a full point. 
if you learn the the ways how the engine the the best moves according to Nalimov or according to the engine uh, are it's extremely hard to convert this position into a full point and well this is another uh, another win to perform for white when there is a better way to avoid this kind of situation I will show you how to avoid it and I strongly recommend trying to play against that bot otherwise this video may not make much sense to you ah it's winning anyway technically it is but it's extremely hard and to prove it play against that bot so white on king f5 move rook g1 doesn't help rook h3 attacking the pawn rook g7 king goes to f6 king goes to f8 rook c3 threatening mate because if you go any further the rook will be trapped mate is threatening rook c7 rook c7 h8 queen king e6 well still the same still the same endgame the rook is not lost but it doesn't have to be that way the reason why this rook was not lost is because it was standing on a3 with exactly the only square to not be lost if it was standing on a2 after check king e6 queen g8 it would be lost on a2 and it cannot go to b file for example now rook b3 is not working because king is escaping check the pawn will promote with the rook on a3 this just loses the h7 pawn check goes check immediate drop so the rook has to use the a file and if it was standing on a2 or a1 white would be easily winning how can we do that which brings us back to this position the best move here for white and it just shocked me I couldn't believe why is that until I figured all this out and showed it to myself and now to you the best move here for white to the fastest win is king h7 why you need to push the pawn fast you'll see in a second king h7 has exact threat rook going to g6 even without letting the king approach faster so king c7 right but now what do we do now we need to take over the third file how do we do that try to guess by waiting rook d1 waiting move the trick is the king cannot move it has to guard all these three squares for my rook to not get there one move faster the king cannot move the only one that can move is the rook from the g file uh, on g file if the rook moves away from g file white would go rook g1 followed by king g7 and that would be it so rook g2 now we occupy the third file rook is still waiting and now we come back to the original plan king h8 rook is waiting h7 king c8 rook f3 king d7 rook f8 king e6 exclamation mark rook g8 same line same line same line rook a2 again rook b2 is not possible actually it's also rook g6 is still winning but king d king d8 uh, king d8 and king escapes so rook a2 rook g6 king f5 rook f6 king f6 h8 queen king cannot go here because the diagonal so king f5 king queen f8 king e4 and now queen goes between the king the uh, the king and the rook the only move is king e5 and now is approaching like this these are not only checks but the best ones queen d6 king g8 and now this followed by queen f7 queen a2 is winning you if the rook is on a3 you don't win it i didn't show the line with rook on a1 it's quite easy right you win it immediately if the rook stays if the rook goes to g1 this is even worse the same line rook a1 the same line same line with the rook if you don't take it rook goes to f8 the pawn promotes if white if black tries rook b1 the easiest way would be to go like this the rook is not far enough 
root b8 king goes here king d6 is another try rook g6 and king d5 surprising try but this is relatively easy win rook goes to h6 rook to b8 king approaching and king approaching knight is winning that's why it was so fascinating for me to see that the king h7 was the best move according to Nalim. I was like, why? What? Why? h7 is winning. And hopefully you got the reason. Hopefully you will enjoy it and maybe it will serve you in the future. Maybe you'll save an endgame like this or win it very confidently. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Contact me if you wish. For general reasons or for private lessons. Have a good day.